Welcome everyone to the Expert League, where we interview experts in all different specialty areas right across Australia to give us some tools and insight into how we can maintain our mental health and our well-being during this time. This is our first expert interview of the series, and I have Rosalia Wata here from South Australia. Hi, Rosalia, how are you going? Hello. Hey, yeah, I'm really well, thank you. That's yes. Good. Lovely to have you here. Um, Rosalia is a holistic life coach and counsellor. So she specialises in holistic health, such as our mental, physical, emotional and spiritual um, health. And she's been working in the industry for over 14 years now. Um, so Rosalia, thank you so much for joining us here today. We really appreciate it. Just to start us off, can you tell us a little bit about your specialty and how you work with your clients? Yes, yes, certainly. Yeah, thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here and be of service to everybody and help through this difficult, challenging time. Uh, yes, yeah, so as you said, I specialise in mental, emotional, physical and spiritual wellbeing. And the way I help my clients is I actually educate them in having an understanding of how their mind works, how they can manage their emotions, um, balance their life, and also improve their relationships by um, communicating better. So I offer a range of Eastern and Western therapies, tools, strategies, and techniques, such as neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, timeline therapy, mm -hmm. hypnotherapy, breath work, mindfulness, meditation. Uh, so a whole range of different things that I draw from to help the individual client um, that suits their individual individual needs. Yes, and yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, you um, definitely very, um, you're very diverse and have a lot of variety in your practice and um, you can tell that you're quite passionate about your work. Can I ask you a little bit about, you know, what got you into counselling and helping people? Yes, well, my own journey and challenge in my life led me on, um, on a journey of healing and personal development. As a child, I had trauma and abuse. And when I got to teenager, I, you know, was smoking and um, drank alcohol and um, smoked marijuana. So I was avoiding myself with these addictive type behaviours. And later, um, when I got to about 25, I actually got really sick. I was physically ill and had a nervous breakdown and healed my body with natural herbs and, and medicines because the medications that I was on um, had a lot of side effects, had anxiety and panic attacks. So after I recovered, I got married and had two beautiful children. And then the turning point came in my life where my father actually died. He, he took his own life. Mm. And my relationship, my marriage broke down um, and it ended. So then my journey started of healing and I learned from so many different experts and spiritual masters, went on to study about 15 different modalities. Wow. Um, and yeah, just kept learning and growing. And yeah, now I'm helping others with their, with their journey. So yeah. it's been uh, very rewarding, <laughs> been very challenging, but very rewarding in getting over all my own um, you know, things and, and healing myself. So I've learnt a lot about emotions and healing, um, overcoming limiting beliefs. A mm. lot of my clients <laughs> had, which I definitely had. I'm not good enough and I'm not worthy. So reprogramming, really. Um, reprogramming myself and helping my clients reprogram them as well. Yeah. And learn and to Yes. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that incredible yeah. story. Um, and it sounds like you've got a lot of personal as well as professional experience. And um, it's, I've seen the amazing work that you do, and I'm sure other people see that as well. And yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. We really appreciate it. Um, and you talk yes. about you do talk about your clients and um, helping people. You know, what are the what are the sort of usual people that you do help in your own practice? 
Yeah, so adolescents, adults and couples I work with, mainly with depression, anxiety, stress, anger, addictions mm -hmm. and relationship issues and, of course, self-esteem, yeah. confidence. A lot of things that I've had challenges with, so I can yeah. definitely help them with that, yeah. Quite a broad range. That's great. Um, it sounds like it sounds like you really apply, you know, your learnings into your practice as well. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, moving on to I guess the you know the times now, where, you know, it's quite uncertain, difficult. Like you mentioned before, what do you think is the most challenging thing for individuals out there at the moment? I think it's, I think it's fear. fear. Mm. I've spoken with. So um, have sparked with so many people uh, it's just the fear isn't it yeah. fear of the unknown yeah. and you know the health the finances fear about where they're going to live some people because you know they're not working um, so I think the main thing for people is fear at the moment mm -hmm. and of course adjusting adjusting to this isolation and not having that uh, physical um, social contact with normal life activities as well you know absolutely, um, absolutely. so that's a, a big thing so losing that ability losing our freedom yeah isn't it do what we want to do yeah do what you're you absolutely want. right mm. and yeah it is it is and you bring up a really valid point there that there is a lot of fear and anxiety out there and it, and it is normal it is normal for us to feel this way and um you know us as humans this this fear response is part of our basic instincts and the great thing about us is that we're very adaptable as human beings um and what was what's been kind of your most greatest challenge during this time personally Yes, um, I'm used to seeing people face to face and family yeah. and my little granddaughter too. So um, just, you know, social distancing from everybody. I'm usually a huggy person. Yeah. So I miss my hugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss my hugs. Um, yeah, just that personal, you know, connection with people. And this is how we're going now online. So just have to go with it, you yeah. know, and acceptance. Yeah. I mean, grief, the first stage is denial we can't believe we're all shocked you know it's like oh i can't believe this and and then we can be angry it's like why is this happening mm. you know that's the next stage of grief and then once we come to adjusting to it all and, and accepting that this is how we need to be and, and to adjust to it mm. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. And we are all going through our own sort of journey and processing the grief in different ways, for sure. What would be kind of your advice for the individuals out there, you know, dealing with these emotions and these feelings at the moment? Well, just to sit with them um, and process them is so important because suppressing them is not good mm. and avoiding, avoiding the self is not good either. Um, you know, we tend to turn to either eating or perhaps um, some people may want to drink um, alcohol, things like that, to avoid the feelings. So it is important to just sit with it um, and process it because the more we resist something, the more it persists. Yeah. And so sitting with the emotion, allowing it to go through. So the first step is acknowledging how you do feel, naming the feeling and then allowing that energy to move through the body um, the more you can just sit and allow the sooner it will actually pass um, if if you do have fear then there are some techniques you can use with breathing technique a very simple one i can suggest is just breathing in through the nose to a count of five really nice deep breath down into the belly yeah. counting to five in your head holding the breath at the end Count of five in your head and then letting the breath out. Count of five and holding the breath and starting again. So keep repeating that a few times until you do feel a bit calm. Some other things you can do is just press into your knuckles here and count to 10 and release. And then start again, press into 10. So there's all these little techniques you can use to help 
help calm down. Meditation is a wonderful tool. Yeah, still the mind. So, yes, and of course exercise. Getting out on the sun, we need the vitamin D. Yeah. Build it up. Go and sunbake. <laughs> Highly recommend. Go outside and eat, you know. Be outside as much as you can now, now that the sun is out, whenever it is out, because um, we really need that vitamin D. So important for our mental health, emotional health, physical health. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And um, we're very lucky that we can still go out and do our exercise and still go outdoors. Mm. So let's take advantage yeah. of that. Yeah. 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 And just remember that this too shall pass. Mm. Yeah. Everything in life is always changing. Nothing mm. ever stays the same. The universe is always change. So whenever we are in that state of despair, just remember that this too shall pass. It won't, won't last forever. You know, that's always gotten me through <laughs> whenever yeah. I've felt, you know, in those dark places yeah. is to know it will change. Yeah, the feelings you know, are temporary. Exactly. So turning that worry into sense of wonder. Mm. I wonder what's going to happen, you know. So moving from worry, see, worry is not a normal thing to do. It's actually a learned behaviour that humans have done. It's not natural to worry. Mm. So shifting that worry to a sense of wonder, wonder what's going to happen. Yes, and laughter is the best medicine. So watch some comedy movies and laugh with your uh, family and friends. And singing, singing is a wonderful thing to do. And you know what? I was on Facebook the other day and I, I don't know the name of the lady, but she sang this little tune and the tune went like this. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. So you just keep repeating that over Ooh, and over again. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so go pass that on. Teach it to everybody around you and just sing. Sing. It puts us in a great state and releases endorphins in our brain, which in tune boosts our immune system. Yeah. So laughing, singing, boosting your immune system. There you go. Mm. Yeah. It's difficult when we're in it, though. <laughs> um, yeah. So seek support, definitely with it. Yeah. Um, reach yeah. out to services. Yes. So yeah. we're all in this together, as we all know, every single person. We are. And thank you so much for providing such practical tools for everyone. I'm sure they got some really great things out of that. And you made a really great point about that acceptance and letting it sit with us. And, um, you know, the more we resist it, the more it comes back stronger. So it's great to just let it flow through us. Yes, that's right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Um, and uh, I think, you know, through your personal story and your journey and um, giving us some of these practical tools and tips today, I think a lot of people would have gotten something great out of this. If people want to get in contact with you further, um, how can they do so? Well, they can contact me via my website, which is www.holisticlifecoaching.com.au. I offer a 20-minute complimentary phone session. So happy to help anyone. Please reach out and give me a call. Uh, my number also is 0421 740 306 if they'd like to call me directly. And my email, rosalia at holisticlifecoaching.com.au. Yeah, so I'd be more than happy to help in any way I can. Yeah, great. So if you guys want to reach out to Rosalia, please do so. You know, she does some amazing work and I'm sure a lot of you have resonated with what she's said today and would like to continue that journey with her further. So please don't be afraid to reach out and um, please seek support if you need it. Um, so thank you so much, Rosalia. Did you have any final words for, of encouragement for our audience today? Um, just work on yourself you know please take this time to go within and be fully present in the moment 
tune into all your senses when you're out walking you know look at the look around you feel the the breeze on your face the warmth of the sun if it's out <laughs> and the smell you know tune into all your senses be fully present in the moment when you're eating really focus on each movement when you're putting it to your mouth feel it the texture smell it taste it when you're in the shower be fully present feel the warmth on your back of the water when you're doing dishes if you're doing them by hand <laughs> um, smell the dishwashing liquid you know be fully present mm. because otherwise we're in your mind and the mind either is thinking about the past or it's thinking about the future so by being fully present you're only here in the now and it's more peaceful <laughs> and you're connecting with yourself Absolutely. so that's my advice is to practice being present thank you for giving some really practical tips that people can do right within their homes and right within their comfort zones um, and i'm sure a lot of people have resonated with your work and would like to continue that journey with you so i really really appreciate you joining us here today rosalia um, and yeah all the best and hopefully you stay safe and well and um, enjoy the rest of your your time at the moment Thank you, Cindy, for having me. And yeah, wish you all the best too. And keep in touch with everybody, won't we? And help each other through this. Absolutely.